Good afternoon folks, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2020 on a 69 plate. The legend that is the Volkswagen Transporter. This is the 2 litre TDI start line, but with an additional business pack. What is the business pack, Simon, I hear you say? Well, um, business pack gives you air conditioning, gives you uh, reverse parking sensors, uh i think that's about it otherwise normal electric windows mirrors uh bluetooth phone and music dab fm am medium wave um so they're decent spec vans uh now this one is in its working clothes being in start line specification uh, and it's ideally kitted out to work for a living all right uh, you have your locks for vans additional security locks on your side loading door and your rear doors and you have your vanguard four bar roof system up there on the roof with your vanguard pipe rack and then inside we've got a little bit of racking to help uh, along the lines as well now the purpose of this video is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the van so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying uh, the vast majority of our customers We'll leave a £500 deposit having watched this video and then either come and collect or get the vehicle delivered to them. Um, now, as I say, it's a 2020 on a 69 plate. It is a one keeper from new vehicle. Covered 35,000 miles. I think it's 35,000 miles. I'll double check exactly in a second when we move to the interior. But 35,000 miles, warranted miles, nice low miles. Um, one keeper from new. Um, so it's got the pedigree there that everybody wants, hasn't it? Now let's get started with the video so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're getting. So your four bar roof, uh, roof rack system does have a roller bar on the back for your ladder. It has that lovely pipe tube. Roof itself is all looking very straight and tidy underneath all of that kit as well. Um, you know, this best part, what's a pipe tube nowadays? Oh, what, 300 odd quid bar system, four bar systems, probably another three. Uh, yeah, you've probably got about 600 quid's worth plus of kit on the roof there haven't you uh windscreen that's all looking good uh no major stone chips cracks or damage to it uh there is uh free of charge uh, a uh, dash cam fitted to it i don't know whether it works it's there okay if you want it it's there um camera uh, camera jesus bonnet bonnet the bonnet is in good overall condition uh no major marks or stone chips your front grills are in good order as well. Uh, front uh, bumper is all in good order. We do, it looks like, with the uh, little square there in the bumper. That's for your collision uh, um, pedestrian collision assist. So it looks like it's got that fitted to it. Uh, passenger headlamp unit, that's in good order. Your passenger side front bumper corner, that's in good order with no major scuffing. And if we look down the side profile of the vehicle, even battling the low sunlight tonight, um, you can see no major dents or dings to worry about. Round to the driver's side, driver's side headlamp unit is also in good condition. And your driver's side front bumper corner, again, good overall condition with no scuffs. Looking down the driver's side profile of the van, again, driver's side, no major dents or dings for you to worry about. All looking very straight and tidy. Driver's side front wing with integrated side repeaters in good condition. Your driver's side front steel wheel. Again, overall good condition. Minor elements of wear and tear on the steel wheel, but nothing major. We have a Dunlop tyre on the front there. Tyre-wise, we're at that. I'll tell you where we are with tyres. Anything less than three millimetres we replace, the legal limit being 1.6. Um, driver's side mirror unit, the cover and the mirror itself is in good condition. Driver's side door glass is also in good condition. Your driver's side door lock and handle all good. The door itself is in good overall condition with no damage. If I stand back, try and give you an overview of the side of the van. Excuse the shadow that's now all over it, but uh, you can see in overall good condition. Now there is a little bit of a mark on the back here. So let me get down low, show you your seals. The seals are in good overall condition. Where we have got a little bit of damage is this bit here. Can you see that? I, to be fair, I completely missed it. I didn't see it when I bought it. Um, it's not a major drama. They have slightly caught it there, okay, with a little bit of damage there. Uh, we can get that repaired for you. That won't be a big deal, to be fair. Um, the rest of the rear quarter, good overall condition with nothing else to really point out to you. 
your driver's side rear steel wheel, Hankook tire, steel wheel itself is in good order. That Hankook has loads of tire tread depth on there, as you can see. And then if I look down the side profile of the van from this angle, you can see with a nice reflection in the paintwork, she's had a little bit of love in her time, hasn't she? So still a nice polished exterior. Uh, driver's side rear light units in good order. Driver's side rear bumper corner with reflector on this side's all good. As I say, as we move around to the rear end of the vehicle, we have factory parking centers on the back end of it. 50-50 split on those rear doors. Uh, alignment of your doors, as you can see, that's all good. High level brake lights are in good condition. Your door edges, as you can see, those are in good overall condition as well. Locks for van security locks, all good. And then looking in the back of it, your factory bulkhead is in good overall condition. Your trade van racking, a little bit of racking there. It's pretty handy, isn't it? Nice to have, doesn't take up the whole van, but gives you a little bit of storage space. Ply lining, etc. It's all in pretty, you know, it's used, but it's in good condition. So happy days. Uh, inside of the rear doors, as you can see, they're not completely battered and scratched to death. So that's good news as well. We have a little bit of wear and tear on the rear bumper. As you can see, just in the middle there, a little bit of wear and tear there. But again, you know, for a used van, I think she's in pretty good order, to be honest with you. And literally, it's had a quick wash and the leather. It's come in this tidy. Rear light unit this side, all good. And then rear bumper corner this side with rear reflector on that side. That's all good as well. Again, look down the side profile of the van from this angle. Nice reflection in the paintwork. Um, all looking very straight and tidy. Upper quarter, this side's all good. Lower quarter and arch, this side is also clean and tidy. Steel wheel with a Michelin tire, that tire. Plenty of tire tread depth on there, isn't there? Steel wheel, elements of wear and tear, but nothing major. The sliding door on this side, again, good overall condition. We do have a locks for van security lock on the sliding door there. Um, you know, they're a bonus. They're 160 quid plus the VAT fitted. So, you know, times two, it adds up, doesn't it? Lower seals are all good. Uh, sliding door handle and locks all good. Passenger side front door handle is all good as well. Mirror unit this side, that's in good order. Passenger door all looking good, as is your passenger side front wing. And we have a factory steel with a Michelin tire this side as well. Tire tread depth being about that. Now, let's just stand back, have a look at the side profile of the van. You can see she's in good overall condition with, uh, yeah, just a good, respectable looking van, isn't it? Now, let's just give you a viewpoint from your sliding door. As you can see, that opens up and moves back nicely. Your door shuts are in good, clean, tidy condition. Entry seals and plastics are also in good condition. That bulkhead doesn't appear to have had too much action either. I'm just having another viewpoint of the inside of the van. Really nice and tidy, isn't it? Now, again, passenger door, the passenger side door card, good overall clean condition. Your door shuts clean and tidy. Your entry seals and plastics are in good condition. The add blue and diesel filler are here. And then flooring this side, nice, clean, tidy condition. No real signs of any abuse. Glove box, pretty useless size to be quite frank with you. Book pack is there. Top of the dashboard, all good. Cup holders, headlining in nice, clean, tidy condition as well. And then your passenger seat trim, if I remove my camera so you don't think I'm hiding anything, that's also in clean, tidy condition. Lifts up that way and gives you additional storage under there as well. So that's, that's all pretty handy, isn't it? Round to the driver's side and your driver's side door card again, neat and tidy. Entry seals and plastics this side are good. Flooring this side, there is wear in the flooring here and here, okay? Work boots, uh, I'm afraid not a lot I can do about that. People should buy rubber mats from new. Um, and then your driver's side seats all looking good. Get yourself a set of heavy duty rubber mats. They'll be like 30 quid from Van Diemen, somebody like that. Um, and that will sort that issue out. 
Uh, vents are all good. We have electric windows with electric heated mirrors, another cup holder. Steering wheel still has all of your kind of factory texture to it. It's not worn smooth. We have 35,393 miles. Take a look at that instrument binnacle again. Another easy way of seeing how hard a van has worked. It's nice and clear. It's not full of dust. You get the idea. DAB, FM, AM on the stereo, Bluetooth, telephone, Bluetooth, music. What more do you need in your life? Air conditioning, the God-given right of air conditioning. Uh, Stop-start technology, hazard warning lights, 12-volt power down there. Five-speed manual gearbox. Um, indicators and main beam that side, wipers that side. Uh, there's your camera, interior lights. All very respectable, isn't it? It's just got the right spec you need. It's wearing the right clothing, isn't it? Good workhorse. And there we go, 2020 on a 69. Um, it is, uh, oh, what's going on with it? It is a one owner from new and it has covered, as I've already said, uh, 30, uh, 35,000 miles. There are 50 to 60 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us at sales at vanstoday.com. Now, if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. And that, folks, is about it. If you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest purchases, Please feel free to like and subscribe, folks. Like and subscribe. Um, and there we go. Thanks very much. Uh, there's a spade a spade. Um, and, um, yeah, that's your van. Cheers.